you reading? Oh, just learning about Triceratops, one of the most famous dinosaurs. Oh, Kitty wants one. Well, sadly, they went extinct millions of years ago. But let's bring them back to life by answering a Jurassic-sized question. What if Triceratops never went extinct? Zoom in! Triceratops were three-horned tank-sized dinosaurs that roamed the Earth over 66 million years ago until the infamous asteroid impact wiped out most non-avian dinosaurs. But what if they had survived? How would they fit into today's world? For starters, they need a place to live. Fossil evidence suggests that Triceratops thrived in warm, forested regions filled with ferns, cycads and conifers. If they still roamed the earth, they'd probably be found in places like the Amazon rainforest, the African savannas or the subtropical region of Asia. Anywhere with plenty of vegetation and space to wander. Deserts and cold climates wouldn't suit them well since their massive size and high metabolism would demand a steady, abundant food supply. That brings up an interesting question. What would they eat? Back in their time, grasses weren't as widespread as they are today. So their diet mainly consisted of prehistoric plants. But animals are adaptable. Pandas, for example, evolved from being meat eaters to bamboo specialists. Similarly, Triceratops might have adjusted to eating grasses, shrubs or even crops. In that case, they could have become a potential nightmare for farmers, trampling through fields and devouring entire harvests. Speaking of farms, could humans have domesticated them? Well, at up to 30 feet long and weighing around 12 tons, they wouldn't have been the easiest animals to control. But history has shown that humans have managed to tame large, powerful creatures before. Horses, elephants and even water buffalo. If domestication were possible, Triceratops might have been used in place of oxen for plying fields or even as massive Horned beasts pulling carts through city streets. Imagine a world where instead of horse-drawn carriages, we had Triceratops-drawn wagons. In the prehistoric world, Triceratops had to watch out for deadly predators like Tyrannosaurus Rex. In today's world, there wouldn't be anything quite as fearsome hunting them. But younger or weaker Triceratops still have to fend off big cats, wolves or even crocodiles in certain regions. Luckily, their three sharp horns and bony frills would give them a solid defense, much like modern rhinos standing their ground against lions. But the biggest threat wouldn't come from other animals, it would come from humans. Would we hunt them for their horns like some do with rhinos? Unfortunately, that seems likely. A creature as large and powerful as Triceratops would probably be a prize trophy for poachers unless government stepped in with strict conservation rules. But even then, protecting them wouldn't be easy. And why is that? That's because survival in today's world would still be tough due to deforestation, climate change and human expansion that are already pushing modern megafauna like elephants and rhinos to the brink. Therefore, just like we do for endangered species, we might have set aside massive reserves for Triceratops hoping to give them a fighting chance. 
And instead of visiting zoos to see lions and tigers, we might be heading to dino reserves to watch herds of triceratops roaming the plains. Trivia time! Did you know the name triceratops comes from Greek words? Yep, three means three. Kerat means horn, which later evolved into serha, sound in English, and ops means face. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Mahira Desai. Hope you had a new experience today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Here we go, Kitty. I'm sure you got exactly what you were looking for. He was asking for a toy, not a dino history lesson. Oh, never mind. <laughs>